hi there once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to talk about python's loops python has two primitive loops command that's the while and then the for loop today i'm going to focus on just the while loop in this video tutorial the while loop executes a set of statements as long as a condition is true but remember to subscribe if today is your first time visiting my channel and also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial so let's say you want to create a number and that's a variable and then assign the value one i want to print a list of numbers as long as the condition is true so let's see while the number remember this is a variable created is so let's say it's less than what nine you have to bring a colon to end this statement we want to print a list of numbers we can say print and then print the number now i'm not going to run this because I'm going to get a long list of one it's going to be an infinite loop it's never going to end the reason is that i'm saying whilst this number is less than nine and one over here i've assigned one to the number so always one is going to be less than nine so it's going to run continuously and it will never end and that is called an infinite loop what i need to do is to pick the number and then increment it any time i loop through this code so this is what i'm going to do look at what is going to happen now Anytime I get here, I print the first number. I'm going to add one to that number and it's going to go to two, three, four, five, six, up to eight. It will not print nine in the sense that nine is not less than nine. So let's run this code. You can see it's going to print one, two, three, up to eight. Okay, so this is the while loop. As long as the condition is true, this is going to print. So one up to eight met this condition. Now, what I did over here is just like saying number is equal to what? The number plus one. Okay. So if I run this, I should be getting the same results. Just a short form. So a developer, you always want to write a shorthand that you don't run several code, a long list of code. So this is basically the same thing. So now this is how the for loop works. Very simple. Once a condition is true, this is going to run okay and we also have what you call break so we can also break from a code okay break statements can stop a loop even if the while condition is true okay so let's see how that is going to work so it can break even the statement even when we have our condition to be what true so i'm going to use the same process but this time around i'm going to embed some if statement within this yes after this i'm going to say if i'm going to say if my number here is equal so if the number here is called to three then i want to break my statement my statement should end then what i'll do is i'll come down here and then put the break statement yeah. so remember the break statement is within the if statement here so i'm going to say that cause the number is this print the number you're going to print but when you get to a point where my number is 3, then it's going to break. It's no more going to print anything. Let's run this code. Okay, remember you have to bring a colon here as well. Don't mess up the code. You can see what is happening over here. So once the statement gets to 3, it's going to break this. It's never going to continue this again. So I've defined a while loop. I've set up my conditions saying that the number should be less than what nine whilst it's less than nine continue printing i've also indicated that once you meet a part of this code and then the number is equal to three then you have to break that statement don't continue that is exactly what happens when you introduce the break statement like subscribe for more tech video programming video because a lot is going to happen this year and you can't afford to miss that now there's another statement that we can also introduce called the continue statement since we have the break statement we can also include what we call the continue statement so to do that i'm actually going to clear this and leave just my condition now what i want to do is that i'm going to say first i'll increment my number yeah. and i'll come down here and then i'm going to still define my if statement so my number is equal to what three so first of all first of all what's the continuous statement so what this does is that 
once it meets that condition the condition we are defining it's going to skip that and then continue with the rest of our condition so i have to bring a colon here so now i'm saying that if you meet the number three just continue it's going to skip the number three it's going to print everything and leaving the number three out i'm going to say continue then down here we're actually going to print our results so the result you are printing is the number see what is going to happen if i run this code okay so i'm saying comparing so remember if you want to compare number use a double quote okay so that is it so this is going to start I'm going to start all the way but you can see the number three is not going to be printed out it will skip the number three from the list so you can see it will run and then skip the number three from the list the two realize that from two we jump all the way to four so once the statement number is equivalent to three then you say continue that is going to continue our statement without printing the number three okay and finally what i want to do is we are going to do the same thing here but there's also what we call the else statement okay so the else statement mostly you will introduce the else statement when the condition has ended and maybe the condition you want is no longer within the loop so let's say we want to introduce the else statement and say what i want to do is that i'm basically going to print out this statement now i want to increment this first okay so then i want to come down here and i say else and i want to print this statement so let me just say condition as ended okay but this is basically what is going to happen once this condition is printed out then it's going to print out this that my condition is over or has ended this is what is going to happen condition has ended now you can also say that the number is less than or equal to so you can do something like this in this case you're going to print the number nine because nine is equal to nine okay it's less than or equal to nine so if i do this you can see it's going to print out nine like subscribe for more video tutorial tech video tutorial programming video tutorials and also remember to always like share my videos so like come away again bye bye